Hey guys, Bill here. Wow, such a busy week we've had here with so many submissions coming in from you guys. The number one video this week by far is this one. It supposedly shows a guy making his own, uh, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like his own little Frankenstein. Whatever it is, it's really weird. And then there's this, the announcement of a new species of shark discovered by Japanese scientists. But the big story we're doing this week is about a little known but deadly Amazon creature called the Cobra Voadora, or snake with wings. People in the Amazon run when they see this thing. They say it can kill you almost instantly. But is this really a killer snake with wings? Or is this just another big, fat, Amazon-sized fake? Why don't we head into the jungle and see what we can find out? Now, to start off, this isn't a real or fake submission sent in by you guys. This one is something I came across while making an Amazon River Monster video with Steve Townsend, the fish finder. Welcome. During the day, we are on the hunt for giant-sized vampire fish. <laughs> But at night, we would go out and look for snakes and other creepy critters. One night, when we got back to our lodge, this huge, scary-looking thing had landed on the screen outside the dining room. It just looked like a big bug to us, but the staff were terrified by it. The bartender, who goes by the nickname Johnny Walker, warned me to stay away from it. Muito peligroso. Perigo. Segunda a lenda. Não visto alguém, mas segunda a lenda. Até se ela, ela sentar num pau verde e, e meter o esporão, o pau seca, morre. Igual a pessoa também sentar na pessoa, a pessoa morre. Morto. Instantâneo. Instantâneo. You know, it's hard for me to believe that any creature that size can kill you instantly. But then the bartender brought out the cook, who said she knew somebody who was killed by that. The, the lady's saying it's got two horns on its head, and if you get stabbed by that, you're a, you're a goner. Steve and our fishing friend, Graham Walker, manned up for a closer look. Right about this line here, just at the base of the head. They couldn't figure out whether it kills you by biting you and injecting venom, or by a stinger. Okay, apparently it's got horns that if they stick in, that's the bit that... I, I can't... I mean, for me, normally any poison comes from the tail or the gob. Or the gob. Well, I don't know where the gob is. Well, look, look, you do that. Look, look, look. look. Yeah. On the one hand, it did have the head of a snake, and it also had large wings. But on the other hand, it just didn't really look like a killer. But then either does the blue ring octopus, which actually looks kind of innocent, but has enough venom in it to kill 26 human beings in a matter of minutes. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Careful, cat. Careful, cat. No. Now, if I knew the real name, let's get him to write it down. Yeah, but that's the jungle name. No, but if they write it, I'm sure if you put it on the internet, there'll be a cross-reference. As luck would have it, we were able to get the guys to write the name down, and we had just enough internet satellite service to put a search query in that led us to this, the official answer. Now, before I can tell you what's in here, you know you got to tell me what's going on up here, okay? Now, I don't care what time it is or where you are, but what I need you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video here, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right. And then a third way to go is to vote right up here, which is really popular. So, you got three ways to go. It doesn't matter which way you go, but the important thing is you do go right now. <laughs> Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm going to open up this envelope and give you the official answer. But first, I just want to show you a few clips from these other really popular submissions that came in this week. 
This one, first sent in by Narit Dewanji, shows what claims to be a new breed of shark discovered by Japanese scientists. They call it a volcano shark. Now, Narit, there isn't much information published on exactly where the scientists found this new shark species, and that's probably because they didn't want to admit they discovered it while at Universal Studios tour in Osaka. It's not a real shark that lives in a volcano, but rather a mechanical shark that creates a scene from one of the Jaws movies. <laughs> So, so fake, fake. It's, it's funny! This next video from a Russian YouTuber claims to show how a man injected his own, and this is difficult for me to say, his own semen in an egg to create, well, this. Now, even though a ton of you guys sent this thing in, I wasn't going to examine it because it's just a little too high on the gross scale, if you know what I mean. But it created such a stir with my research group, the Chewy Piranhas, that we decided to take it on. There's actually a lot to be learned from this video. Researcher Holmza Andreas is right now in the process of recreating the entire experiment to see if we can duplicate the results. By this time next week, he'll be able to reveal what happened, and I'm sure it's gonna be really interesting, so stay tuned for that. And speaking of interesting, why don't we get back to this and find out if the Cobra Voradora, or the snake with wings, is as deadly as they say it is. All right, you ready? Here we go. The video with images of a creature known as the Cobra Voradora, or snake with wings, has been thoroughly examined. Based on visual and textual analysis, it has been determined that the creature is more widely known as the Chirinamboya. Okay, spelled with a T, Chirinamboya. Its ability to kill human beings is widely believed to be true. Wow, we were so close to that thing. I can't, oh, well, wait a minute. There's a butt here. Uh, but the number of people actually killed by it remains at zero. Therefore, we must declare the claim of it being a killer nothing more than an urban legend. Oh my God. In reality, it's as harmless as a moth or an ordinary cicada of which it is a family member. Can you believe that? I mean, it's actually good news because people don't get killed, but... All those people that believe that thing is a killer will actually run away from it. Amazing. As it turns out, the Chitinamboya is one of the most interesting insects I have ever come across in the Amazon. That's why they call it a flying snake. That's pretty fantastic. Where's the head? And they get a bit. Look at that. Oh, it's still miedo. Miedo. É por isso que eles chamam cobra, olha. It has no teeth, no venom, and no stinger. It protects itself from predators through amazing mimicry and camouflage. That ugly-looking snake head? That's not really a head at all. It's just a hollow mass that looks like a snake head to scare off any would-be attackers. The real head is back here hiding behind the mask. Very clever and amazing. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank the Roosevelt Lodge for taking such good care of us while we were in the Amazon. Also want to thank the Chewy Piranhas for their help. And a special thanks goes out to all you guys for sending in all those fantastic real or fakes that you come across. See you next time.